I bought a 15,000 square foot warehouse to turn into my dream art slash YouTube studio. It's a bit grimy, it's a bit leaky, and it needs a lot of work. Did I bite off more than I can chew? Maybe. Do I have experience in construction or renovation? Absolutely not. But I love a good challenge, and with a little help from my friends and some professionals, I think we can turn this place into something epic. So, let's get started. Yeah, buddy, it's freaking day one, hour one, minute one of the warehouse YouTube studio dream build out. I think the first priority is to get the room where I wanna ship out my merch all cleaned up. That's the top priority right now. We rented a pressure washer. We're gonna try and spray down some of these walls, get it cleaned up, and then maybe paint in here. When it comes to using a pressure washer, we really had no idea what we were doing. It says gas that way. Mm -hmm. It was there before. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then mm -hmm. choke this way. Right. I think we turned every different knob and every different switch in every different direction, but I guess in the end we missed one important switch. It felt really good to pressure wash away some of this ancient grime that's been caked up in here and get these walls ready to paint. I want these walls to be pure white to really brighten up the dungeon vibes that are currently in this section of the warehouse. My goal is eventually to have my merch operation in this room, but I gotta get it cleaned up, get professional dehumidifiers in there, and just fully prep it so it can house my merch. This is some dirty work. I got like 6,000 year old asbestos all over me. It took so many passes on that one part to get that orange stuff off of there. So yesterday we got incredibly messy with the power washer. So I went to Home Depot this morning and got us some swaggy fits in the Walter White swag. Damn it, I wanted to be cool. Yeah, let's go. If I'm not mistaken, this part of the warehouse was built sometime in the 60s. And I highly doubt these walls have been washed since then. Okay, it's like day three of just working our asses off in here. Today, we are going to try to paint this entire giant warehouse room right here. This is definitely gonna be the biggest paint job I've ever done outside of like doing murals and stuff. This is literally just painting walls white, but there's a lot of walls and a lot of rough surfaces and a lot of grit and grime. We're gonna try to improve that. Let's slap a coat of paint on this thing. We're gonna start by doing all of the edges, just a buffer zone, and then we're gonna use the big professional paint sprayer. I'm just getting moved in here, and I gotta admit, I'm a little bit overwhelmed at how much there is to do. There is limitless little projects that always grab my attention. Okay, so we got the edges done, and now, yesterday, I went and bought this paint sprayer. We gotta figure out how to work this thing, and then we're gonna try and spray down this whole room, and then the primer will be done, and then we do the top coat. Room transformation, let's spray. It's doing something. Prime spray valve to spray. Okay, so put the drain tube back in the paint. Drain tube. Here we go. Stop. That's mad weak. That's even worse. We used it for 10 seconds, stopped working. I'm pretty sure we did everything right. We followed the instructions. <laughs> that hose right there is leaking. Who's the hose? I think it just wasn't tight enough, maybe. Once we figured out how to actually properly use the paint sprayer, we smashed out the primer super fast. All right, gang, so we got the whole warehouse space primed. Now we're gonna put the top coat on there. We have the Sherwin-Williams Pro Industrial No Mix Epoxy. Evidently, it's supposed to be the really good stuff that's gonna be good for this type of environment. I also picked up a couple of these rolling scaffolding instead of lugging a ladder around. So hopefully this will make a lot of jobs around here a lot easier. Well, this wheel popped off the track for the garage door, but now it looks like the wheel's about to pop off the rod, so who knows what's going on. That garage door, I think I'm gonna wanna demolish that garage door. It's old and janky. Maybe put something cool in there, like a cool sliding barn door or something way better than what's in there now. My industrial maker, I'm looking at you, bro. Just saying, just putting you on the spot. <laughs> no big deal. For this room, I used 15 gallons of primer and 15 gallons of paint. Who knew painting a room white would be so expensive and take so much paint? 
Okay, we got that white. And man, oh man, what a transformation in this space. It is so much brighter and so much cleaner looking than those old grimy walls that were in here before. Cool, next thing, let's go. Okay gang, so here we are at a brand new day. Today's plan is dueling leaf blowers. Me and Nick are both gonna grab a leaf blower and blow out this room. We swept it yesterday. We're gonna leaf blow it, then I gotta go watch Juniper cause wifey's got a dentist appointment and Nick is gonna pressure wash while I'm gone. All right, Chelsea had a dentist appointment, so Peter is watching Juniper, which means you get to watch me power wash the floor. Let's go. Run it. I can't take no loss. Huh. I don't even know what it costs. Huh. I hit the ground, then it go off. Yeah, hit the ground, then it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. Yeah. I don't even know what it costs. Yeah, I hit the ground, then it go off. Yeah, hit the ground, then it go off. Yeah, yeah. As I was spraying, water shot up underneath the goggles, hit me square in the eyeball. So that's not very fun, but keep going my shoes you can't tell but they are full of water also we probably should have done this before painting there is there's a lot of gunk on the freshly painted walls. Alrighty, gang. We have got the first demolition project. This pole right up there. Bap, 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 bap. We want to take it down because we're going to build a room in here and that's just going to be in the way. What's up? This only comes with a wood cutting blade. So you're going to ride that bike to go get a metal blade? See ya! Hey. He looks like he went into heaven. You know, we're really all about safety first, so we had to get some hard hats. I'm ready for my first day at construction bro, school. Bro, something about that fit doesn't look quite right. That's like the Marge Simpson helmet, bro. Why is your head like eight inches taller than normal? <laughs> I always wanted to be 6'2". Yeah. What the heck is going on Taking a break from the heavy stuff to put together the edit suite a little bit more. We're hanging up some sound panels in here, which will help for audio mixing and doing voiceover work with that mic right there. So yeah, exciting. I have these super beefy magnets and we had a metal roof in the edit suite. So I figured let's put two and two together and use magnets to hang the sound panels. I'm really glad we got the edit room put together because while we're building out this studio, we gotta keep editing videos and it's kind of the only nice livable place in the building at this point. Everything else is just calamity. Peter has challenged me to build a beautiful wooden wall workshop right here. Let me go make a sketch and get Peter's approval and then we can start moving all these boxes. I really have no idea what I'm doing, but I think I can figure it out. I'm actually super jealous that Nick is building out this stuff. Like every spare moment that I have, all I wanna be doing is working on this place. It's so much fun. So when I'm in there editing videos and making sure that we stay on schedule, I'm just like, man, I wish I was out there. But I'm super glad I have a team that's like super down for the cause. We're all pulling together super hard to put this place together. Hello? Long time no speak. Is that Wally? Yeah, Wally Pepper from Wall Preppers. Wall Preppers! You know YouTube's top creator making content around prepping walls to be painted for murals? Yeah, Wally, your former friend until you just up and forgot about old Wally Pepper. Oh, Wally. Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't forget about you, man. I've just been super busy. Yeah, I see you got that new studio space filled to the brim with walls that are in a good need of prepping. And I'm sitting here waiting for your call. And what do I hear? A whole lot of nothing. Well, you know, you've been blowing up so hard with your YouTube channel and your wall prepping and all that stuff. I thought, honestly, I thought you were too big for me, let alone, can I even afford you anymore? Well, you are right on that. My YouTube channel is the freaking truth, I'll tell you what. But then, I launched my Squarespace website, and after that, it was game over. You know what I always say on my channel? I prep, I prime, now you can find old Wally online. Wall Preppers! Yeah, dude, Squarespace has those amazing templates where all you gotta do is drop your amazing content into their beautiful templates, and then you got a website just like that. You're right on that, old Tenny honey. So once I whipped up a website on Squarespace, it's just raining booyahs all over the place, like booyah, booyah, booyah. 
Squarespace. That's great, Wally. Listen, you gotta come out and help me, man. Well, yeah, Squarespace has a feature where you can book me for an appointment. As a guy who offers my fine services, that is an absolute lifesaver. Yeah, I love their e-commerce and image galleries. And, and their 24-7 customer service. service. Wait, Wait, you too? I was just gonna say the same thing. Wait. Stop copying me! Oh my god! Quit it! Well, you know what I always say on my channel. If you want your wall prepping career to take flight, start a Squarespace website. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's why you gotta head to squarespace.com to start your free trial. Wait, 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 let me say it. Okay. Then head to squarespace.com forward slash 1000 for 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain! Well, Wally, I can't wait to see you over here real soon. You know, I got a lot of walls that need prepping. Hell yeah! Wall preppers! All I do is prep freaking walls! I'm the best! All right, Peter's got another YouTube video to put out before the end of the month. So I'm just taking over this entire workshop project. I'm going to transform this desk into a miter saw station with wheels. So that way when we saw stuff, we can take it over to the door back there and blow all the sawdust outside. Let's go. All right, I finished the table. It took me the entire afternoon. Uh, I skipped my lunch break, but you know what? It was definitely worth it. And now it's time to show you guys the final sexy shot. Nick, what are you doing right now? Oh, uh, nothing, dude. It's just, uh, I finished the table. It looks you, good. Look, dude, check it out. I finished the table. What was that beat and those dance moves you what? were doing, though? Dude, what are you talking about? I heard some, like, beatboxing, and I saw you dancing a little bit. Nah, 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 nah. That wasn't me. I don't, I have no clue what you're talking about, but that was not me. I was just wiping off this table right here. All right, that looks good, man. I think this thing deserves some final sexy as we come around the corner we see the wild 1000 in his natural habitat making thumbnails i've got a special delivery today a strange expense but it's exciting nonetheless let's open this thing up when you buy a 15,000 square foot warehouse i need a box cutter there is a whole list of things that you are gonna need that you would have never imagined you would need it is a commercial grade floor scrubber very glamorous purchase you know when you become a big YouTuber, you start stunting on people. So <laughs> I had to floss on them with the freaking floor mopper. Cause we out here, hot boys, mopping. <laughs> Came with an included ramp and it's even labeled. Look at this, ramp. Now we can do sweet tricks off of this pallet with my bike. I was just about to say that. It's under the hood. Oh yeah, that's a dual V12, uh, straight six, Hemi. <laughs> <laughs> Do any of those words make sense? I didn't pay the extra thousand bucks for a battery operated unit. I feel like I'm probably gonna be kicking myself for that, but a thousand bucks is a thousand bucks. Lower the squeegee. We gotta lower the brush. We gotta push the vacuum button. Wait, on position, vacuum button. Oh no! <laughs> Hey, do you guys see this big chunk of missing wall up here? Well, me and Nick pulled the metal siding off the side of this wall here. Anyway, we have been dealing with a lot of leaks coming in from the base of this floor here and making a little mini River 1000 that comes out onto the warehouse floor. We decided to investigate and it turns out that the water is coming in from that seam up there and dripping down and making our little lake. Super bummer. Probably some mold and mildew back there. All the insulation is tore up. How much of this wall is completely toasted? Probably all of the metal face exterior walls good that's nasty gotta fix it it's gonna be expensive hooray wait, wait, keep it up. Yeah. so go to 1000 art.com and sign up for the t-shirt of the month club to help support fixing our wall you buy merch we buy wall I've had three or four different companies out here at this point to take a look at it having a hard time finding somebody who wants to work on a big old warehouse with a metal roof and unknown mystery leak problems and I don't know Honestly, I'm a noob, I'm a rookie, but this is a thing that's happening here. It's probably gonna be an ongoing battle. 
<laughs> I just thought I would show you. If anybody knows anything about anything, holler at your boy. I just want to keep the water out. I just want it out. That's all I want. Next, I decided to organize the workshop area. And this is gonna make working on this place a lot easier. After all, this is only the beginning of all the crazy projects we have in mind to transform this warehouse. The next thing I wanted to do was build some set walls, like movie set walls. This is all really cool when you want the big crazy art warehouse vibes, but sometimes I might want that like more cozy vibe, so it's not all this all the time. We watched a couple YouTube videos on how to build movie set walls. So naturally, we're now experts. With these set walls, I wanted them to be relatively easy to move around. So we tried to use lightweight materials and design them to be relatively modular. I laid this thin wood called Luon on the frames. Then I reached for a good old fashioned hammer and I tacked them down. Not as sexy as I once was. Don't care about cool cuts, I'm an old man. To reach the middle, I stood the wall up vertical. One little section done. Ain't she a beauty? Building these set walls makes me feel like I'm building like a big old canvas. When I look at them, it's just so hard for me to fight the urge to paint a mural on them. So this thing is not the most square wall. We got a nice little triangle shaped gap right there in the middle. Build this one in great. <laughs> yeah, we used a little patch piece there, but we don't have anything to patch piece that. So we're gonna just use a ton of wood filler, but we are gonna attempt to lift the big boy. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. All right, so we got some seams here and we got a big old misalignment there. So I got this wood filler and I'm gonna try and see if I can make these seams disappear with some wood filler before we paint it. A new day, another day of building out stuff in the studio. The wood filler on the walls have dried. So we're gonna pop some legs on that last wall that needs legs and then we're gonna sand down that wood filler. And then I think we're probably gonna need to spackle on top of that because I still think you're gonna be able to see the seams, which is what I'm trying to avoid. So let's get started. Okay, so the wood filler didn't work too great. We're gonna try some drywall stuff. It's a lot of dust on you guys, sorry. But this is, what is this called? Fiber tape or something? We got this, we got this, we got these things. Don't know what any of this stuff is called, but we're gonna try and fix the walls. Let's go. Flip it on that wall. Drywallers are watching this and just be like, no, 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 no. I don't know if this drywall joint compound is gonna work any better, but I certainly like spreading this stuff on more than the wood filler. Welcome back. We got our walls going here. We gotta sand this drywall joint stuff. What's it called? We gotta sand this joint compound. And I know it's gonna generate a lot of dust, so we are gonna to attempt to move these walls just outside to try and not just dustify everything in here more than it already is. Go, Nick, go! Go! If you're crazy like me and you're thinking to yourself, hmm, I wanna build some set walls, I 10 out of 10 would recommend getting a couple of cheap furniture dollies. It makes moving these things so much easier. Now I'm building these as set walls, but listen, I get a lot of emails each week from people who are like, hey, how do I learn to paint murals? Where do I start with murals? Well, listen, you could slap one of these together in like an afternoon, especially if you don't care about hiding the seams. And what I call a set wall, you could call a mural practice wall. You could learn to spray paint on this thing. You could paint it over and over and over again. It's relatively cheap, it's lightweight. It's basically a giant freestanding canvas. 
All right, guys, we are going to be sweeping the main warehouse floors. How long do you guys think it'll take us? 20 minutes. 15, 15. 13 minutes, 43 seconds. Oh my God. I'm gonna guess 22 minutes. I are doing prices, right rules? One minute, one minute, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> the timer starts now. Sweeping the warehouse. It's a dirty job, but the 10 hundred team is up for it. But how long will it take? Okay, and the final verdict is 26 minutes, 42 seconds, which puts your boy the closest. Sorry, guys. Uh, now we're going to use the professional power floor scrubber. Dang, that's looking way better. I mean, it's still a dirty warehouse floor, but it's a clean, dirty warehouse floor. Hey, we got Chuck Lee in the building. Drove all the way from Detroit to come help out. Hell yeah. Thank you, brother. Yeah, got you, man, for sure. Where do you get a load of this painting he made us? Look at this. Look at this. Chuck Lee walks in the door with this thing he made. Look at that. That's red. That's me. That's little Juniper. That's Nikki. That's Wifey. That's Nick. This is officially the first fan art that involves the whole 10 hundred team. Chuck didn't ask me to do this at all, but he's a smaller artist, creator, YouTuber. His channel has like a thousand subscribers right now. There's a link to his channel down in the description. If you like what you see, definitely hit subscribe. You a real one, Chuck. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, back to the video. Today is the day. We are building a giant room within a room to keep all the merchandise dry, dust free, climate controlled. Nick's here, he's holding the camera. He's gonna be helping. Chuck Lee came out here from Detroit. Chuck Lee, no relation to Bruce, but we kick it the same. And then in that big old truck right there is Jonah. He's gonna be providing the real life expertise that we need to make sure that this thing doesn't fall on our heads. <laughs> and I'm going to be trying to knock things up as much as possible. Jonah is already man about his craft. His expertise is on display right now. Look at all this lumber. Just in the one month since I've moved in here, I feel like I've learned so many new skills. We need one more eight foot section built. We will build one more eight foot section, Chuck Lee. That's right, we will. Yes, <laughs> let us begin. <laughs> Figuring out how to fix stuff, and build stuff, and make things work is something that never gets old to me. Austin, how do you feel about the project so far? Oh, uh, it's too big. <laughs> Everything's too big. Problem is, if you give Red an office that's too big, he's gonna get a big head. Yeah. You gotta be careful. Giving your employees these palatial offices, yeah. I think Red's office is gonna be bigger than my house. Maybe I should come work for you. Oh, we'd love that. I won't ask for anything here. I have everything I need. You have the best office in here, straight off the bat. <laughs> you got the CEO's office. I got the corner office, a nice wide window. And I'm gonna fill with Red Bulls only. Red Bull, please sponsor me. Red Bull, please. So, just got our first door framed in, putting the triples in where uh, Nick's gonna go now for support, so we transfer the weight off of the door frame and back onto our wall. Yay framing. We are very close to being done. Woo! Well... In addition... <laughs> yeah. In addition to being an amazing artist... <laughs> Whatever, I'm out of here. <laughs> the best part about all of this is just hanging out and making stuff with the homies. So we are starting to put the joist hangers up, which means we're gonna have a ceiling sometime today. Woo! Let me leave you with the 60 second tour of what we've done. This is the edit room. It is really coming along nicely and we have a place to work and make videos. The little lounge area is actually like a functioning lounge space. This will be more vibey lounge area. It's temporarily where our shipping operation is because we still got to finish building out that room out there. As I walk through this door, I'd like to remind you to subscribe. Behind all these sound blankets and stuff is our set walls. They'll be 
more on that in the next video. Walking over to the future merch warehouse. Our framed room is looking nice. We got a lot of drywall that's waiting to go up. A whole bunch of insulation. Got a cool little spray paint area going there. It's all organized by color. Me likey. We put in some additional lights in the workshop area. It's definitely a little bit brighter in here. And then this is the tool corner featuring Nick's sexy table. That's the super speedy tour. I'm 1000. Catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye.